another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Sefi Bergerson, a photographer, an author, and in my eyes, a true leader in the wedding photography business. His Silk Photos is a boutique photo agency based in India, and he's speaking with us from India right now Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Sasha. Good to be here. Sefi, you and I go back, way back, and uh, you know we're friends. We've known each other for a long time. Uh, you are one innovative fellow, man. Uh, you've got all kinds of projects going on at, at the same time. I love your energy. I love your enthusiasm for what you do. Uh, you're a true teacher, though. You're, that's how I see you. I mean, I know you're a great photographer, but I see you as a teacher. Uh, would you agree to that? Would you agree to that definition of how you are or who you are? Uh, more today than before, I think. Um, yeah, I spend a lot more time doing other things than taking pictures. I was just crying about this to a friend uh, earlier this week, that I'm the photographer who doesn't take pictures. <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I am a photographer. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I, do, uh, I do care a lot about... Uh, about um, about giving back right now, you know, like I think you come to an age when you start realizing that, uh, you know, it's time to give back a little bit. I've been doing this for more than 30 years um, and, uh, and I can and I have the energy to do things and uh, sometimes it's, it's good, sometimes it's, you know, it's a little more difficult, but yeah, yeah, sure. Awesome. You know, we probably should rewind for my audience a little bit. Tell us, tell them a little bit about your background. Uh, you're in India, but you're originally from Tel Aviv, Israel. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you were a commercial photographer for a long time before you decided to move to India and start completely fresh, square one, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you moved, moved with your family. You had a, a, a little baby at that point in time, and now she's a, a beautiful grown woman. Uh, you, have, you have committed yourself to India in ways that probably most Indians don't even commit to them to the country why i'm i i'm an ifo i'm an indian of foreign origin oh <laughs> awesome <laughs> that must be a new stamp that you got somewhere i got I, yeah I, we're, I, we're working i think that's going to be the next project we're going to try and convince the uh the foreign ministry that you know they start uh, an ifo card you know i yeah, don't need to be a citizen <laughs> i just want to i am an indian um uh, yeah everything is uh, everything's correct we've been here more than 15 years now right uh, um yeah, I don't, I don't really see the end of it. I mean, as long as India lets me stay, I'm probably going to be here. What is the draw to India, though? Uh, it's hard to say. You know, I think it's, it's like any other place. You know, some days you love it and some days you hate it. These are the same things that you love and hate in the other places. But I feel that, uh, that I, I, I do more than survive here. I, I'm not in the struggle to, you know, to pay my bills. I can I can just uh, decide that I want to do something interesting, and I just do it. Uh, and uh, income, it's uh, yeah. You know the market is so big. There's so much that hasn't been done. There's so much that you can't do. And there's so many clients and uh, and so much inspiration. There's so many things to do um, that I what I work. I mean, I don't worry about it. But what I uh, what I I do is really try to be. Um, happy, so I don't I don't focus on uh, on how am I going to pay the rent, or where is the money going to come from, and uh, that client didn't pay or whatever. Which I which I thought you know when I was a commercial photographer, it's a very different kind of lifestyle. Um, well, we love it. You know, I think I think you know the reason why we we came to India is not the reason why we're here. We came to India that that we used to see in the postcards. We, we came to India as tourists in the, initially and. We thought we'd live in Rishikesh and open some, you know, restaurant or something. And so obviously it wasn't the same India 15 years ago. And the reason why we're here now is because we're actually working. We, you know, we got back into, into the Western kind of, uh, you can say, Western way of life. We work, you know, we, 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 we have a business. Uh, we have three daughters now. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a great place to be. And I found myself uh, uh, professionally here. Um, I, I do things that I never imagined I would do. 
and uh, India has been very good to me in that sense, you know. So it's uh, it's here. Fantastic! Wow, wow. Um, uh, it's wonderful to hear that you've made yourself so much at home in in India. Uh, you also, as I've hinted at before, you you are prolific. You are absolutely prolific in whatever projects that either come up or you're tapped to do, or you just find yourself busy all the time. Um, uh, you know, if you if one were to look at your portfolio, uh, it's vast. I mean, it's like so diverse. <laughs> you know, it's like you keep yourself busy and entertained and 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 just. Curious. I mean, you're just like you're like the the most curious photographer I know. I think you know you're just out there making photographs of everything, and I, we'll probably get to maybe if you are comfortable talking about it, your latest project later on. But silk photos, this new thing that you've just launched. Uh, yeah, it's been going on for the last two or three years now. I know. Uh, tell us a little bit about silk photos. What is it exactly? So Silk Photos uh, actually started as a, as an idea, as a platform for uh, for uh, you know a few friends to to pass work, you know, so that uh, you know if I'm busy, I could just point the client to, oh, why don't you have a look at Silk Photos? And we'd all have just a page with a little portfolio there. And uh, Christophe Vizier and I, you know, thought about it uh, back in 2013. Um, and we came up with the name, and uh, Christophe uh, designed the logo. And uh, uh, but he, you know, he was supposed to put together a website, and he didn't. And we were all busy, and uh, we, that that platform really never, never took off. And um, about a year ago, maybe a little more than a year ago, um, I was speaking with my wife, and uh, she said, "Listen, you know, this this is a great thing, and and you know, we should." We should do it, you know, but, uh, but we, you know, we're brainstorming about ideas and how this, and, you know, we, we, we thought that, uh, you know, that platform, that collaborative platform is, uh, you know, it's a nice thing, but it's been done before. Um, we should do something else. And, uh, and when she said that, you know, that she'll come on board and this, and I said, well, listen, you know, it can be an agency. Uh, more, than, more than a platform or a, or a, or a, a community. Um, there's never been an agency in the world that represents wedding photographers. You know, I've always wanted to have an agent, someone who will run out, you know, out there, you know, for me, get the work, sign the contracts, negotiate the prices, you know, see that the money comes in, book the tickets, all of that. Just give me a call and say, Sefi, you listen, no, October 13th, that's your shooting in uh, wherever. And she said, yeah, you know, this is something I can do, you know. And so we started and I spoke with Christoph. I said, listen, you know, I'm taking over. Nothing, nothing happened, you know, with that platform. We're, we're going to take over Silk and we're going we're gonna to restructure it. And, uh, and uh, you know, we started looking into, you know, how, how, you know, agencies work and what it means really to represent photographers. And, of course, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm represented as well. And uh, Sheffi, my wife, took over and... Uh, you know, we, we're, we're trying to, uh, or what it is really, Silk is, uh, is uh, well, not like, wedding photographers are usually a business to client, uh, B2C kind of business. That's right. Uh, you know, you look, for, you look for the bride and then you hope that she will uh, recommend you to her friend or this. Or, and every job is new. You know, you have a website, you work on SEO, you have a blog and this, and every, every client is a new client. Uh, Silk... Um, is different because, uh, you know, instead of sitting under the tree and waiting for an apple to fall to your hand, um, the agency is a business to business, it's a B2B platform, and uh, we try to climb the tree and pluck the apples before they fall. This is where the really nice apples are. Um, and so it's about building relationships with, with wedding planners, promoting all the photographers as one platform uh, establishing a certain kind of a quality uh, ba bar for the, you know, for the industry saying, you know, if, you, if you're represented by Silk, that means something about, you know, the quality of your work, that you, you have your own language. It means that the client that comes to Silk um, will have, definitely will have a great photographer, um, uh, so Silk represents uh, a small number of, of uh, wedding photographers and a small number of, of cinematographers uh, from all over the world. Uh, they all specialize in Indian weddings. 
um, and destination wedding photography. Uh, and uh, we also have a, a mentorship program. It's called Raw Silk. Uh, Raw, Silk Raw Silk is, uh, is meant to identify um, young photographers, not only in terms of the age, you know, but, but young photographers who are, you know, who are still young in their experience or, or even if they are experienced, still don't really know how to recognize their uniqueness and their style. But these are photographers that we believe can, can be really, really good at what they do. And, and so we, uh, we take them on board, we, we represent their work, uh, and these photographers get to work uh, with silk photographers as second shooters, tra travel around the world doing different assignments with different photographers and learning. Um, not not only by working with one photographer as like as a second shooter, but like seeing and getting exposed to different ways of thinking, and and hopefully you know will help them, uh, um, you know, get better. Awesome. So uh, Raw Silk now only has uh, uh, one photographer, but we're hoping uh, uh, that after Silk Inspire, we will take on three more photographers to the Raw Silk program. Awesome. Tell us a little bit about Silk Inspire, which is which is. As you're branding it, India's first wedding photography festival. Yeah, yeah. Tell us so, about uh, it. So, we, I, I've been doing workshops uh, uh, since 2012. Uh, uh, brought at least one more international photographer for the workshops. The reason was that I didn't want the people that are attending the workshop to think that it's, it's Sefi's way or the highway, you know, that there's only one way to do it. I know that I'm very... Um, uh, you could say charismatic. I know that that people listen to what I say, and I, I'm very dominant. And uh, and you know, and I thought that if you attend my workshop, you feel that that you, oh, this is the way to do it. And and that's not what I wanted people to learn. I I wanted people to see okay, there's there's Sefi's way, but there's also Christoph's way. There's uh, Andrew's way. There's a lot of different ways. And so so if you attend a workshop with more than one photographer, I think I think that you benefit. A lot more than than the number of photographers, and um, that was very good. Uh, and it was going on. We, you know, the last workshop actually that, that we did was uh, Christophe, Andrew, and I uh, did a great wedding, uh, a great workshop in Bombay, a four-day workshop. It was fantastic. And uh, and I thought that the next step would probably be something that that we will bring more photographers, and we will let the photographers introduce themselves in a in a seminar day. And then give workshops. Um, and then, you know, so that, but, but it's a bigger thing, you know, it takes a lot more time to organize and, you know, who are you going to bring and how are you going to do it and where and all of that. And then we started with Silk and, and uh, we hired more, more staff for the office. We have some really good people working with us now. And, um, and then I started speaking with some photographers and I said, this is the idea. And, and I got some incredible response. And, uh, Cool. And we, we, we didn't really, we didn't really think that we were, it just happened, you know, like all these people said, yeah, sure, we'll come and we'll do it. And they're like, oh, we're, uh, boom, okay, we'll do it in Goa. We do it now, you know, and, uh, <laughs> and my, my wife said, no, are you crazy? You're going to need a year to put this together. And I said, listen, chef, we have, we've never been scared of anything we're doing. You know, it's always been love. We're going to do it. It's going to, it's enough time. We're doing it. Wow. Um, so the idea of Silk Inspire is, is actually that, that, you know, workshop, that wedding photography workshop uh, that I've always done, but now it's with eight photographers um, and uh, it's a four day thing. Uh, and we have two, in two days of seminars, uh, four photographers will give, uh, each will give a one and a half hour talk uh, on, on these two days. And then we will have day three and day four for, for individual photographers workshops. So you come for the for the seminars, and you then you can you can choose if you want to attend one of the photographers' workshops, uh, and they're very very vast in in how, you know what the workshops are about. You know there's there's, there's just like uh, so much that is happening, and you know we're now feeding in the the information about the seminars, the list of subjects for the seminars. You know, the photographer. There's, there's a couple of photographers who still need to send us the, uh, you know, the full information about the workshop. But it's, it's, it's so incredible, you know. Sure. And then we're saying, then we're saying, listen, all right. So what about the evenings? You know. So we're like, no. Uh, 
No, it's going to be fun. You know, we're going to have parties. We're going to have this. We're going to have that. So, so the last evening of the festival will be a beach party. Of course, it's Goa, so we'll have a beach party. Uh, and, uh, but we have, we have a few super, super cool things that we're organizing for the, for the first uh, three nights. And uh, I can't really tell you about it now because... Uh, you we want really to give it a surprise. Sti- yeah. We need to stitch it together, sure. but it's... it's uh, and... Uh, and uh, I think, uh, and, and also the, the thing that we're organizing for the first night, um, yeah, you know, we, we discussed a little bit about the pricing of, of Silk uh, Inspire, and uh, you said that, that you're surprised at how low it is. The, 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 the program that we're organizing for the first night is, is free. I mean, you don't even have to, to enroll into Silk Inspire Festival to, to be part of, the, uh, of that incredible event that we're organizing for the first night. So the idea of the festival... Is, is like its name, it's to inspire. We really feel that, that there's so much that can happen in India, in wedding photography in India, if we just manage to point people's attention in the right direction. Absolutely. And the right direction is inwards. It's inside. Uh, it's, it's who you are as, as, a, as an individual photographer, who you are as Indians, yep. what you have in front of you. Don't, don't try to imitate what's being done outside. Stop shooting the, you know, the umbrella lit from the back that you saw on Fearless or, or the jumping couple. Stop it. You know, just, just say something else. Say something that is yours. Absolutely. Uh, wow, that's and, that's uh, profound right there. Uh, I think in terms, of, in terms of, a, of a message for photographers, whether they're in India, whether they're here in America, I think that's so key. Find your own voice and press on, press on with what you have to say, because, you know, really, because if you're only echoing what has already been said, then you're not really saying anything new, right? And well, you're, you know, you're, I, you're not really adding to the conversation. So I, I agree. A lot of people say this, though, you know, I'm sure you know, if you, uh, a lot of people are trying to, to explain this, that, you know, it's not about the gear, it's not about the camera, it's, and, uh, I would I would say it even uh, even a little more extreme. Uh, I feel that uh, that every picture that I take is a self portrait. I'm just say every picture, not every picture. You know, you go out to a wedding, you shoot a few hundred pictures. You know, not every single one right. of them is a self portrait. But yes, it needs to be. Well, well I it think what you're, well, I think what you're saying is though. Uh, I think I, it's it's not so much a self portrait as something. You, you know, an old old professor of mine, you know, pretty much chastised me when I was learning, the, you know, going through photojournalism school. And he said, Seishu, uh, you've got a great eye, but I'm not seeing your thumbprint on these photographs. And I've always carried that in my head as to how I will bring my vision into whatever I'm seeing. And th- there's a little bit of me, as you're saying, as a, we call it a self-portrait, there's a little bit of me in every photograph that I'm making. And I think that's so critical, so critical for photographers, especially wedding photographers, because it's so easy to copy. It's so easy to copy. You go to an, another photographer, wedding photographer's blog, and you see this thing being done, and you go, oh, I can do that. No, that's yeah. not the point. <laughs> So the thing is, the thing is, you know, what I keep telling photographers that attend my workshops that is that if I don't see you in your pictures, then you're just a camera operator. You're not a yep. photographer. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, and, and the thing is that there is a way to learn how to be a photographer. Uh, and for this, you really need to know who you are. And that is the trick. Because people, you know, the majority of the people move, move around, you know, and they spend their entire life and they don't know who they are. And if you don't know who you are, how can I see you in your pictures? You don't even see you in the pictures. And even if you did, you wouldn't know. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah, it, it's, it's about that. And, and I think, you know, I've been speaking with the photographers and I see the list of, of seminars and workshops, you know, and we all saying the same thing. We just say it from different places, from different angles. It's like we're all climbing the same mountain, but we climb from different sides. Mm. Uh, and it's interesting. It's beautiful, you know, that, that when, you, when you have when somebody, somebody, you have eight people all, you know, bring in a massive, massive experience 
all telling you the same thing, but from different angles. You start what I'm hoping that we people will be sitting there and thinking, okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm also going to start climbing my my way, my little way, mm -hmm. just a little just a little step. Yep. Let me see how it happens. Let me see. How, that's what I want. Yep. That's oh, what I want. That's brilliant. Absolutely. Uh, the festival takes place in Goa, India, October 4th yeah. through the 7th. It's taking yeah. place this year, this year, folks. Yeah. Uh, and you 100 got, days from now. It, it is 100 days from now. You've got to go. And and we did, we sort of talked about price. And I'll tell you, uh, Sefi, seriously, when I first saw the numbers on the page, my jaw dropped because I was like, how is this guy making this happen? You know, I mean, and of course, I'm converting it from dollars to rupees. But it's so affordable. I mean, it's a no-brainer, folks. You know, if you are on the cusp of being a wedding photographer, you've got to go to this festival, right? I mean, if you are really yeah. considering wedding photography as your thing and you're saying, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, you do know. You go to this festival, you hang out, you connect with other photographers, you know, you watch what they're, sa what they're doing, what they're saying, how they're saying it. You know, and then as Sefi and I just talked about, Climb that mountain yourself. Do it yourself. Uh, it's all doable, and the price is right. I mean, really, if, if I had, if I was living in India, this is a no-brainer for me. I mean, seriously, even though I'm not really a major wedding photographer anymore, well, I, just, I would still go because it's such an amazing opportunity to just hang out. Well, with, that's, that's, right? that's what we want, but that's what we want. You see, uh, uh, we're, we're taking a big risk uh, at the moment. Sure. Uh, but I think, I think it's... Uh, I think it's going to work out in the long run. I mean, we've just we've just sold out the early bird tickets. You know, it you, it was supposed to to last until July fifteen. Uh, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so so we we've, we've sold out the early bird tickets. Um, we we want the we want the festival to be affordable. We we want people to come because because they don't know they they just have no idea right what it means. And and I do, and I want people to understand. That I I know that you know. Forget the money. You know, I sure, yeah. The money is. It it would have been worth it, even was if even if it was a lot more. But people will walk away, and that I guarantee will walk away mind blown. Absolutely. And uh, and they will come next year, and then we'll grab them. No, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but I think I think uh, you know India is a price sensitive country, and and Indians are, are always a little suspicious, and it's a good thing. Um, and uh, and sure, let me convince you. Let me convince you. I'm I'm all right. I'm okay with that. You know, it's it's I, I know what I'm doing. Let's segue into what you're going to be teaching very quickly, because you're one of the instructors. Uh, at this festival as well. Uh, you're not only yep. just putting this together, but you're also going to have to teach. So as we started off this conversation, I saw you and I see you as a teacher and you are doing what you're, I think you're, in some ways you're, you're so naturally good at, which, which is to tell people, and I mean, you've done tons of workshops, God knows how many, but you've, you're so, na such a natural in, in that position as a teacher. What are you going to be talking about uh, during this festival? Well, I tell you what, I'm I'm a little uh, intimidated here because uh, there are some. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, so I put myself first so that I'm not, uh, you know, I don't I don't get on stage thinking shit. You know, my talk is not as good as theirs. Um, <laughs> That's cheating, isn't uh, it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I, I can cheat. <laughs> um, I tell you, I. I'm not going to talk about, about uh, I mean, I have 30 years of, of experience, more than 30 years of being a professional photographer. And uh, something that I realized is that uh, I, I shouldn't teach what you can read on Google. Uh, that, that doesn't make sense. So, and, and if, I, if I see myself and the way that I live my life and, and, uh, and my journey in photography and how I how I see photography as a part of my life. I, I think my talk, more than maybe some of the panelists, my talk would be more spiritual. Um, it is about photography, but it's not directly about photography. Uh, but, but it'll make you a better photographer. 
Awesome. Um, it's it's a little difficult, you know. We called it the secret ingredient, and we, I'm still I'm still you know we're, you know thinking about the name if it was a good name or not, you know. But we're looking at the you know the the, the secret uh, recipe kind of thing to to be a photographer. Uh, it's it's possible to find it, and I'm going to try and help people to find it. Fantastic. All right, uh, we've just talked to Sefi Bergerson, a photographer and a teacher. Uh, an author as well. Uh, we didn't, we barely talked about your book, your latest book, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, if you're Thank a wedding, you if you're a wedding photographer again, and you photograph Indian weddings, this is a must-have on your desk. I mean, really, it is called Behind the Way Indian Whale. It is gorgeous, absolutely stunning, and Thank they're, you, and they're, they're all documentary work. It's it's like walking in and immersing yourself into the lives of these people uh, who are getting married and you feel like you're right there at their wedding. And it's just, Oh my God, it takes my breath away. Um, so you're going to find at this festival, uh, if you're going to go to India, this is really a wonderful time to be in India as well. October, early October is perfect. Um, and the festival is going to be taking place in Goa. It's called Silk Inspire. It's from October 4th to the 7th. Don't miss it. Thanks, Sefi. Thank you very much, Seishu. Thank you, buddy. Bye.